morning. Uh, I'm Tad Schuchter, I'm the chief engineer uh, of the Corvette. I've uh, been working on Corvettes for 20 years and uh, never been prouder than uh, now bringing out uh, this new Stingray. The very first thing we talked about when we started uh, talking about doing an all new car was what are we going to do with the interior. On Corvette we say when we do a new one, we want to take our weaknesses and make them into strengths. We want to take our strengths and make them even better. Well, you'd have to say that our interior historically uh, had been a weak area of the car. So we started from scratch. Uh, we knew we wanted a fantastic design and we wanted executed in fantastic materials and it had to be put together perfectly. So uh, all three elements. You'll see a uh, very dramatic uh, cockpit orientation. Uh, pretty rare in the automotive world to see so much shape, so much wraparound in an interior. Uh, we have a lot of bespoke components. The steering wheel is custom for this new Corvette. Uh, our steering wheels have been shrinking over time. This is the smallest one we've ever put in production, a 360 millimeter diameter wheel. Uh, yet we still retain good human factors, good aesthetics, and you'll see all the functionality of all the redundant controls uh, on the steering wheel, very well integrated. The seats were another uh, weak spot. Uh, you can see the, the seats we have over here. So again, started from scratch, benchmarked the best seats in the world. Uh, and created a seat that would fit custom in the Corvette um, environment. We use magnesium uh, in the frame structure. You'll see the seat is much stiffer. It's very comfortable. It uses very premium foam and finished goods. It's uh, got all the functionality you want. Good long-term comfort and uh, good lateral support. For the first time, we're offering two different seats, a touring seat, and that's what you're going to ride today. Uh, we're starting production with that. Uh, later on this year, we're bringing out a competition sport seat where the bolsters are about one inch longer, so for even better lateral support for people who want to track their car. You'll also notice the very large openings uh, intentionally designed uh, for pass-throughs for wide four or five point harnesses, uh, and that's also uh, trimmed in uh, real carbon fiber. That's uh, not an aesthetic applique. The rest of the interior, you know, executed with the, the latest materials, honest materials, real aluminum, uh, everywhere you see it looks like aluminum got not just a teeny little accents, uh, but big kind of structural elements in aluminum, uh, premium leathers, and when you see carbon fiber, uh, it's real carbon fiber.